Alrighty, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to some more Empyrean Galactic Survival. Uh, we're doing a little bit something different tonight. Uh, we're actually on the UK server, which just had a the uh, recent update, uh, actually done today, uh, latest and greatest of all things Ascension Unchained, which is pretty cool. So uh, instead of playing on the PvP server tonight, we're actually going to be playing on this. Uh, it's a new wipe, new start, so it is going to take a little bit to get things running, and we're going to see what happens with everything as far as uh, things have changed. Um, apparently now you don't get as much experience for each of the resources and stuff, so this will be uh, something totally new uh, as we're going. Um, So we'll just kind of play it by ear, see how things go, see how many times we die before we get to each level. Basically what the creator has done is that he's wanting to slow down the level building process so that you can actually enjoy more of the stuff as you go along. Uh, so what does that mean? That means that you're going to be at a lower level for a lot longer period of time. Is it going to be harder? Don't know. I haven't gotten there yet. We'll just kind of see what happens and uh, go on from there. But for the most part, you know, the, if, you, if you're a veteran to starting a game, it's pretty simple. You just kind of run around and collect walks, shoot stuff. You know, it's not too uh, too difficult. But we're going to see how things go. Now, the uh, uh, survival tool has been lowered as far as how much damage it does now. We're just going to kind of see how it does. That looks like I did pretty good on that one. But yeah, your your experience gain. See, I'm still at uh, 441 out of 2400. All right. So let's see what we got here. Uh, resource. We'll pop this rock. So that's literally one experience per rock. All right. Let's pick a plant. And a plant gave me three. So picking plants might be the idea. You know, pick some plants and... All right, we'll just kind of keep going. We're gonna to try to make our way over to the portal hub, but we're just gonna kind of blow, shoot stuff as we go along too. Uh, we're gonna blast these guys here. All right. So yeah, your level, you're gaining your levels. It's going to take you a lot longer. It's going to be a lot slower, a slower process, which is fine. I don't have an issue with that. That's actually kind of cool. You know, otherwise, uh, as if you are a veteran player to this game, you know, you kind of got a way of getting to level 25 within a few hours or less. Depends on how you, uh, how good you are and to what you're doing. Oh, yeah, we got some bunch of stuff going on. We got a Giga Monster 2. Got to kind of watch what I'm doing here because I'm going to get caught by all these patrol ships, which is not going to be much fun. Let's see if we can head over here to the uh, portal hub. So again, this is a new start for the latest and greatest update of Ascension Unchained. And... Uh, Again, a lot of stuff has changed. There's some new skins, some new items, you know, so we're gonna be trying to feature as much as we can as far as all the new stuff that's going on. And yeah, look at those lovely patrol vessels. Fun, fun, fun. But uh, picking plants, you, you know, you used to you get like, you know, 50 or 100 or a couple hundred XP out of them, and now you only get like three or four. So it's gonna take you a lot longer to gain your levels. Than it would, than what it was in the past, and that's fine. I don't have a, again, I don't have an issue with that. I think it's kind of cool. You know, again, you know, this is a different style of scenario too. So, a lot of things that you might be used to and thinking, oh well, you know, I don't want to play it that way. Well, that's fine. You don't have to. But it definitely brings in a whole new set of challenges to the game too. Because before, you know, you could, uh, but I can't pick that. All right. 
Let's see. Turn the little light on. Sometimes you can find. Yeah, there we go. Give me the box. Right, nothing special. Well, that patrol vessel's awfully close. So probably scanning or other things might be helpful as far as getting levels. Uh, I don't know. We'll just have to see how it goes. Um, you know, you used to go, f you know, shoot a bunch of drones and you're level 25. You know, it's not going to be that way anymore. At least in this particular scenario. Again, this is Ascension Unchanged. This is the latest version of it. So I definitely wanted to check it out and play it for a while. And we got floating islands, which is pretty cool. We get dark here all of a sudden. All right, we're here at the portal hub. Hoorah. So I might actually want to create myself instead of an SV, maybe go with an HV. I'm not sure, or I can go with a hover bike. Make some kind of, you know, motorcycle would be fine too. Either way, we're going to see what, what happens. We're going to rob this place of all its goodies. Why? Because we're pirates. <laughs> and pirates always like to rob things. <laughs> Who knows, we might get lucky and find like a drill or something that's really going to help us out. So that's another thing too is is because your 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 levels are going to stay lower for a lot longer Ooh, that's multi-tool okay uh let's put all this perishable stuff in here you know it's going to take you a lot longer to get to get to uh, bring in certain ships in or whatever the case would be. Okay. Well, I'm pretty much here on the pirate planet by myself, so we'll just go ahead and dump all this stuff back in here. Yeah, we're going to use this place as kind of like a operating area. Put that food there. All right. And there's some stuff that I normally do to kind of help my stuff go along. Ways one is go ahead and do this tutorial. I'm just going to be clicking through this. Not really. I've done this, you know, time after time after time. No sense in uh, changing this process here. We will want to do a few things, though, before we do that. Let me go ahead and create a couple items. Let's see, let me grab my of that. Because we're going to need a couple things unlocked. All right, so let's go to miscellaneous. Okay, we'll need that unlocked. Okay, see, I see we're not even level three yet. See, you're you're very very limited as far as what you can and can un unlock. Luckily, we had enough points to unlock that. But as far as anything else, nope. Not going to waste my points on something that we can't use right now. But that the. Uh, our suit constructor building these these couple items here will be absolutely good for us. All right, we'll put those in our on our toolbar. We'll place them down later. All right, back to the uh, old clickety clickety.
takes a little bit to get through with all this. Ooh, okay. So doing missions is what's going to gain levels. Okay, doing the actual mission itself is what's going to help you. Uh, rewards from that are what's really going to help you out then. Okay, yeah. Well, yeah, we're we're gaining now. Yeah, we don't even have the levels to unlock all of that stuff. So again, not too worried about it. All right, we need to go do some mining. Yeah, see we're getting 500 XP, which is great. I do have some low level uh, HVs or SVs that uh, will actually do pretty good. But for the most part, probably go ahead and still bring in the old pocket rocket. It's a level five ship that's not very expensive on the resources and allow me to fly around and do some scanning and stuff like that. So probably scanning also is going to help out as far as gaining experience. Uh, we could uh, get to level three unlock the epic bike which will have a uh, built-in scanner and use that instead to go scan the planet but the only thing with that is it's kind of slow uh, maneuvering around i still think the sv would be the best choice so we're going to go that route all right there's not too much clicky more left more clickety clickety Yeah, and what's great is if you're actually new to the uh, to the game, doing all these uh, tutorials and kind of stuff like that will really help you out as far as learning the game, how to play, you know, what this can do, what that can do. It doesn't cover everything, but it's going to cover a big wide variety of stuff. Give you kind of an idea of what to do. You know, and, and if you're placing stuff down and you find out your generators are exploding, well, then you might have a CPU issue. And the way you would solve that is by either removing items that, that require a huge amount of CPU and going with other stuff or uh, building a CPU extender if you have the technology unlocked. So it's all gonna, it's gonna really change the game dramatically uh, at the beginning anyways. But once you reach 25, you know, basically the sky's, the sky's the limit. You know, there's nothing beyond that. As far as I know, that's going to make anything different. And you could get lucky by, you know, going into certain bases and finding, finding stuff. Oh, you actually got to do that part, huh? Oh, no. We're all right. This is a little bit different there.
All right, just about done with all this clickety clickety stuff. And we can actually go back to playing the game. Oh no, a base attack. Well, they can't get attacked if we don't have a base. <laughs> This will give us some much needed reward rewards and materials too, which is will be outstanding. And there we go, we've done the tutorial. All right, it's gonna give us some goodies. Um, oops, this stuff here probably go put on our mm, cake yeah we'll eat some cake okay sniper rifles don't have to any bullets of that uh should have a pistol yep we got a pistol i'm just gonna keep the pistol There's some laser fire going on. Who's shooting what? <laughs> it looks like a helicopter. That's pretty neat. Ah. Got a new, uh, Radical, too. That's cool. Okay. So, get rid of that. Have that deconstructed. We have a T2. That, that'll be great. Go ahead and deconstruct that. Save those. Uh, we'll put away our money. Uh, we don't really need the laser pistol right now, ammo, so we'll go ahead and do that. We'll put this on our bar, too. Okay. All right. So, what I'm going to do now is go ahead and set down our uh, devices here. Need to get some oxygen going. So we want to get off this planet, we can. So we'll hit eight and nine. All right, so anything we don't, uh, let's see. All right, that'll be more than plenty of fuel. All right, rest of this stuff here, we'll just dump it in here. Uh, I can find a vendor, I'd rather sell that armor. Guess we need some cash. Keep the rations on us, band-aids. Go ahead and put down this item here too. All right, now faction. Get off action. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll just drop this rest of this fuel in here. Yeah, we'll just set that in there too. Why not? Oh, yeah, I can get those. Uh... I can put three boosts. It's three or. Yeah, three boosts, I think, on this thing. So we're going to get the extra cargo. Um... 
We don't have an EVA boost, huh? Okay. That and go with that. Okay, so doing all those missions got us almost to level three. All right. Oh, it's still deconstructing stuff. Okay. Hey. Let's put the uh, food away. Put our bullets here so we know how many we have. Get out of the way. Drop that there. Put that there. And let's go to the armor. Locker. Yeah, three boots. Multi, and there we go. All right. I'm going to want to kill that. That looks like it's probably got a small war, uh, antimatter warp drive. It wouldn't work for me. He. Excellent. Okay, so I'm going to look at my blueprints, see what blueprints I got at the lowest level. I don't think I have too much enters at real low levels. Okay, let's start off with the hover vessels. Uh, 20, 20, 10. Green pepper, seven. Icebreaker. Icebreaker's pretty good. It's a it's very small hover vessel. That probably it's a level five. Some of these are some really old builds. Maybe this one here is a real old build. It's level 10 now. You know, I'm still thinking that the pocket rocket is going to be my best choice. It's a level 5. You know, this would give me a small constructor. This one here would actually be pretty good if I can get a uh, the amount of cobalt I need. Oh yeah, I got I got the cobalt. Do I have a small focusing lens? Oh, not yet. I'll probably buy one of those. But I think that's level seven. Yeah, it's level seven. So for now, let's do the pocket rocket. Just more and more maneuverability, more mobile. I'm gonna set that to level five. So uh yeah. Go ahead and dump this in our portable constructor. So we're not carrying all this material with us.
Okay. Oh, they're blasting at that thing. Oh, pew, pew, pew. Apparently they don't like it. Ouch. Hey, now. Is this frostbite antibiotic ointment? I should find something decent in here. Ooh, that's good. Thank you. 
good. What we got in here? Ooh, lots of goodies. Ah, is there anything? Oh, hello. Big old spider. Shotgun, hell yeah. Another sniper rifle. Ooh, an assault rifle, hell yeah. Oh, they don't like this place at all. Yep, just stay right there. Let me, let me shoot you from here. That's excellent. I guess a sniper rifle is useful for something. <laughs> Such as killing spiders. Some water. Ooh, there's some more. More stuff. Okay, so I need to get in there. Easiest way to do it is do that. <laughs> Ooh, lots and lots of goodies. Hell yeah. We'll take the goodies now. Yep, looks like I'm about to. Uh, Actually, I got plenty of bullets for this thing. Ooh, you look big and nasty. Well, stand still while I reload. Thank you. Appreciate your cooperation. Stay in a hole while I reload, thank you. Well, hello there. Goodbye there. All right, picked up a, quite a bit of, of the stuffs. All right, well, that's this place. Let's uh, see if we can make it back without getting shot up. Okay, have we gained a level? Yay, we're at level three now. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, I'm gonna 
Uh, oh, oops. Thank you for telling me. Appreciate it. Is that better? <laughs> it should be. Okay, perishables. We're just going to throw it in there. Sure, we don't need that. Uh, a bunch of medications. Uh, some water. All right, we got some shells. Oh, we got maybe some ammunition too. That's good. All right, we got uh, some more meds. Those are good. Okay, so ammunition that we're not going to be using right now. We'll kind of... Too. We're just going to kind of hang on to all these guns at the moment. Because <laughs> I don't have any more. Uh, let's see, more meds. All right, we'll dump the rest of this stuff back in our portable portable constructor. Decon anything we don't need. Uh, let's see. Now, right now, there's nothing really to decon. Gotta watch them patrol vessels. Okay, so take that. Kind of sort things out here just a little bit. Oh, can you sort it? No. All right, all that stuff there we don't need. Don't need that. Don't need that. More fuel's nice. Okay. So let's start gathering up, uh, I guess, a few trees, clear out a few trees. That guy's got some lasers on him. You know, we might need to actual make the actual epic motorbike. So that probably would help get us around a little bit for that now and get some levels going. This new leveling system is definitely going to take a while to to do anything. Yeah, you're not getting much at all. 243. Uh, so shooting animals, popping rocks, all that's not going to really yield you a lot of uh, XP, XP. So probably doing missions, just do basic explore, exploration. You know, things like that's so what's really going to help you out. But it'll give us some much needed meat. Uh, I'm not needed right now, but still. Drop that stuff off there. Go ahead and build ourselves some. I uh, think we'll get the epic motorbike. Why not? It's actually pretty cool. And. Pretty easy to build. Get back over here. I don't want to get shot at. All right, unlock thunder to specialization tools.
Level three, we have just enough unlock points to actually unlock it. So it's 50 unlock points. There we go. All right. And we could start go ahead and loading some stuff after we build our bike into our factory. Epic bike. <laughs> All right, carbon tubes, we'll put that in our factory. Uh, grab that. And grab some of that. Epic motorbike. Gotta kind of watch what I'm doing here. All right. Let's see, there's a iron. I right, just need some little bit more iron. Okay. We'll be able to pop that out pretty quick. We got a little bit of iron. Okay, so we put her back. And it has a scanner on it. Get away from these guys here, get away from this area. And just basically just travel the planet, scan it. Because obviously killing stuff isn't going to really help us much. But maybe scanning stuff will. Travel east. Out of my understanding, this thing's supposed to... Oh, hello. Nice little heel. It is supposed to be able to go over water, so we're going to test that out. If it does, cool. Alright, here we go. Uh, nope. <laughs> Just left the regular motorbike. It says water ain't happening. Yep. Okay, so the abandoned hunting lodges are actually pretty good for, for finding stuff. So there's three of them over here we can actually run and do pretty quick. But I do need leftover from last. Oh, yeah. Uh, on a twin screen, but always not full screen. Yeah, exactly. So, this is a new item this motorbike here. It looks more like a hover bike than it actually is a, a, a motorbike because it's you know, obviously missing wheels. But it uh, actually handles a little bit better too. Why? I don't know. Oh, that's a big blimp, big blimp. That thing has absolutely no guns. It's big and ugly and stupid. <laughs> yeah, look at the motorbike. It's kinda, yep. Oh yeah, actually scanning is going to be the way to, uh, to gain levels, by far. 
So definitely doing what I'm doing right now, that's gonna be good. Let's continue heading east. Yep, scanning is definitely the way to go. Now granted, this isn't as fast as a hover vessel or whatever, but it'll do the trick for now. Come on. Really? All right, still just as bad as a regular butterfly. <laughs> Hello, Raptors. Bye bye, Raptors. Yeah, there's something over here. Oh, apparently I'm level seven now. Oh, heck yeah. Well, heck, with with uh, riding a motorcycle, let's head back to the uh, portal hub. Not too far away from it, because that's actually where all my fuel's at, so. Yeah, there's actually quite a few people that are actually on this server right now. Pretty cool. You know, if you have the game and you want to play and join a server I'm on, you're more than welcome to. And if you want to become a pirate like me, <laughs> plunder the universe. Just uh, when you start your game out, want to join the uh, or uh, the uh, starting planet you're going to want to start on is Kessel 2 Prime. It's the pirate home world. I wouldn't call it a home, but it's definitely the pirate starting world. How's that? So yeah, it's got some new status effects. I mean, there's all kinds of new stuff that we'll be checking out as much as we possibly can. So there's gonna be some things we can't do just because of uh, level restriction. But heck, if we can just scan and gain levels that way, shoot, that's pretty good. And I don't understand why it's still staying up so long either. Uh, usually after a while, it kind of goes away. Alright, there's our portal hub. Could have something to do with the butt with the uh, motorbike itself. Alright. We are back. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave this bike inside here. Or somebody else to use or find or whatever.
Yeah, I understand what's going on here. Usually this stuff goes away after a little bit. But it's not doing it. Might have to log in and log back out. Matter of fact, I'm going to do that real quick. You log in and log back out. That usually fixes everything. <laughs> All right, join the server, our history. So it's the Ascension Unchained UK server that has the latest update for the game, uh, for the Ascension Unchained uh, server. Well, yesterday's stream was pretty awesome. Uh, game crashed a couple times, but man, we had some wicked battles going on. Taking on a couple dead dreadnoughts at the same time. Yeah, that was pretty pretty intense. Blew through, I don't know how many, how much ammunition we went through. Good night. We went through a ton of ammunition. Okay, good old pocket rocket's going to be coming out. I think we still needed a little bit of uh, iron. Yes, we did. We do have some in our portable. So we'll go ahead and claim that. Put that in. We don't need all this. Well, then again, there we go. All right, pocket rocket is ready. Now this doesn't have instant blueprints, instant repair like the other server does. But I put enough materials in it that I was able to actually go ahead and spawn it in. All right, let's get it fueled up. And we got a little bit of oxygen here we'll use. Go ahead and fill the uh, oxygen tank up. Okay. So manage that. I mean, that will allow us to go up in space and some fuel. Excellent. And we have our own fridge here, so we can go ahead and put our all of our uh, medications in here. Be a lot less stuff we have to carry. Now I'm not going to carry all these thinking. Plenty of space in that thing, too. All right. Uh, the only thing I don't have is any 15 millimeter ammo. Uh, ammo. Yeah, I think I'll leave that here. Just dump over and grab what you want. Yeah, I'll leave that here for now. Yeah, I'll go ahead and take it. Why the heck not? Go ahead and pick that up too. Might need it. Hey. Time, do I have time? Yeah, I probably should have time. Go in and get our fridge stuff. There we go. Right. And away we go. Start scanning again.
de capital press. There's some up here. Not sure what these things are. All right, so solo missions. Oh, and we didn't collect our rewards. That's all right, we'll be back there and we'll collect all that stuff. That'll give us some uh, uh, materials here. So we'll need, uh, we'll need some of that. Uh, let's see. Let's do the skill tree. This is usually one of the other first things I do. Alright, let's proceed. I always choose engineering. Just, you're going to use it more than you are anything else. You're not going to be fighting all the time, but you are going to be gathering resources a lot. Promethean. found the uh, the free market yep definitely he's going around scanning explore exploration is going to be the way to get your levels so uh, as soon as you get airborne you know you can you can do that pretty easy yep definitely get more more XP from exploring than you do uh, your mundane things like uh, you know killing stuff or whatnot popping rocks cut down trees <laughs> excuse me all that exciting stuff ah in your new territory I don't want to get too close to these guys because uh, imagine these buildings will hamper my uh, duties. Get shot at. I don't feel like getting shot at. <laughs> Alright, somewhere around here. Some gold. There it is. All right, here is the flea market, which is uh, pretty good. All right, I'm gonna be able to sell some stuff here. You're always gonna keep the light armor for now. Um, not really going to, we'll sell those items there. 
Uh, go ahead and keep the boost just for now. We'll go ahead and put them in here for now. All right, so the iron mark we can sell. Let's sort that stuff. You know, I'm going to keep the fuel and the oxygen and bullets. Whoa, hello. <laughs> you little jerks can't get through this place, huh? All righty, well, I guess I'll have to take care of you. There, let's, uh... Hey, now. <laughs> That's pretty good. All right, keep the fuel. We're going to keep our fuel cold. <laughs> and the extra ammunition we find, we'll throw in here too. Uh, and our oxygen, we'll throw in there too. Okay, is there anything else we want to take out that we can probably sell? Eh, we're not going to do any kua berries, so we can sell those. Okay. Uh, we'll get that stuff here in a little bit. Yeah, since we only got one of each boost, you know, we'll just go ahead and keep those for now. Sell the armor. And then sell the uh, other stuff. What? Oh, a cool berry sprout. Yeah, that's what those are. Oh, he's not he's not uh, uh, buying anything from me. How about you? No. Okay. Hey, I like a burger and and some dino stew royale. All right, what else we got here? I'm insta looting. Oh, good. Nice, we got a new... Uh, All right, weapons and tools. Okay, I got an extra shotgun, we'll sell that one. You know, we could just go ahead and just sell both the shotguns. So I really don't use shotguns. I mean, they're an okay. Uh, sniper rifle. Yeah, we could sell it too. Pistol's not too bad. Uh, a pulse rifle. Yeah, we'll sell that. We want to sell our sniper. He's only get paying seventy bucks for it. That sucks. Uh, we'll, we'll take a mechanical drill though. We'll buy us one of those, and since the fuel is pretty cheap, we'll get us ten fuel. All right. You know, we could just sell the uh, shotgun seals. Got 89 of them. Let's see, uh, the 5.8. Yeah, we'll sell the 13 we have. Uh, since we're keeping the sniper, we'll go ahead and keep the sniper rounds.
Okay. What do you have? Ooh, he's got some titanium. Need to buy a little bit of this. Actually, I could buy some aluminum, too. Or the titanium will work, too. Let's see, can I buy a hundred of it? Nine thousand. Okay. Yeah, we'll buy the nine thousand of it or a hundred of it, and we'll buy some sathium too. Uh, I'll show you what I'll do with those here in a little bit. Yeah, I might spawn out the rock because it'll actually give me a construction, uh, a uh, SV constructor on it. Yeah, we'll do that. Why not? All right, so we have two library. This uh, rocks one by one. That's actually a pretty cool little design. Uh, it's real small, okay? Um, it literally fits in a one-by-one one block, and you can put it on an SV, which is kind of cool. Okay, we need a small focusing lens. We'll just dump all this stuff in here that will take it. Okay, that or can go there. Ah, okay, what I need to do is small vessel. Okay, let's unlock that just because I can make ammunition for it. Uh, cargo box, harvester box. And we'll do a couple container boxes. We're gonna redesign our little pocket rocket here a little bit. Uh, Ooh, food processor. Food small. That's a that's a new item. That's cool. Uh just got some small shield charges. Nice oh, jump drive. Okay, uh, we'll probably need a bigger power source. Titanium ingots. Okay, so this is where it give me the extender. All right, put my food away. I guess we'll just build these berries back in here. Put that on our bar. I don't think I'll be needing the night vision for now. I 
let's see, 125 watts in. We might be able to put both of these on here. I don't know. This looks really dumb, but that's okay. Oh, but I don't have a... Uh... All right, uh, let's see, F3. So yeah, there's some new, new stuff that we're gonna have to definitely look into. Okay, so I think just copper, iron, silicon is all we need for that. Um, harvest box, copper, iron, silicon. Okay. So if I take my copper, iron, silicon, we don't need a cobalt. I uh, might need that. Oh, goody, more spiders. Good thing you can't go through that. If I can shoot you, go away. Thanks for the meat. Come again. All right. So, God, I already killed. See if the small constructor, too, will allow us to make uh, ammunition for this, uh, this ship, too. Okay, well, go ahead and take that. All right, we're going to teleport back to the portal hub and use that constructor to uh, build what we need to do. So I'll build a harvest controller. Actually, I could just build. Oh, excuse me. Could just build just harvest controllers, but I think I'll build one harvest controller and at least one um, Come on, this is not hard. Oh, but I didn't have a teleport accident. Um, well, I hear the different music, so... <clears throat> Let's see if I can get it... Uh... We'll be back. Give me just a minute. Let's get bloated back in. Oh, 
All right. Reconnecting. <laughs> Gotta love the old teleporter stuff. Yeah, so this is the latest version of Ascension 1.7.9 build 6. Uh, I think the one that's on a PvP server is 1.7.0 or is it 8? Yeah, 8. Uh, build 1 or something like that. I don't know, I have to look. It's not a big deal. But the PvP server doesn't get updated as much as... Oh, where the heck am I? Okay, this is not good. I'm actually underneath. <laughs> In period. <laughs> Goofy period, I tell you. This game amazes me sometimes. There we go, we're out. <laughs> Can't. Resist getting the iron, get the iron. Okay, uh, yeah, it's over this way. Okay, so HV, get one of those, and we'll get one of these. Harvest controllers too. All right, and we'll need we'll probably need a bigger deal there. Hmm. Okay, let's get all of our stuffs. And hopefully we'll have another teleport accident and teleport back in. Let's incorporate Oh, fancy. We can carry all that. All but one item. Let's just uh, do this for temporary.
Vendors, extenders. blocks That okay. Cargo. Get all the parts for the uh, for this thing. So there's a Jenny. All right, cargo container can go right here. Access, we'll link to that. I don't need that. Grab those. Harvest controller. All right, yeah, I got to move it first. Okay. I think it's just like three that you need. Eighty-nine. Two. Let's try three. One twenty-eight. There we go. Okay, so this one here can go up to two fifty-six. And this one here, 512. Holy crap. Okay, well, we'll do 512. Where are we at? 48. Now, let's see that. One, two, three. Okay. There we go, 512. Okay.
Whew. I need to cover this stuff up. Okay, these other boxes, I can salvage those, get some materials, or actually, I can just put them in, a, uh, in my factory. Boom. All right, don't really need any of the passenger seats. We're just going to drop those in here, too. All right. So there's our few adjustments we made. Be nice if we had a shield, but we can't, we don't even have the technology yet to unlock a shield, I don't believe. Uh, you gotta be at least level 12. Okay. No problem, man. All right, with that said, we can go ahead and See here, portal hub. Yeah, I'll leave it. Right. I'll leave it there for now. All right, got something this way. We have an iron deposit. Well, we do need a little iron. We can use this little thing to get us a little bit of iron. Luckily, we found these drills and we're actually able to do it. I'm doing too bad for just a couple of them. Really got to watch what we do though, because uh, we don't have a whole lot of uh, thrust on this thing. Hey now. More spiders.
Oh, there's some dead stuff over here. Yeah, free meat. Oh, hello, spider. is the land. <laughs> Holy crap, look at all the spiders coming. Now what? That glowy beady red of eyes. GFO. <laughs> I'm liable to just keep shooting these same things. And uh, not doing it for the XP, that's for sure. All right. Uh, yeah. Are we on the South Pole, I think? No, we're North Pole. Okay, looks like we're finding some... Maybe some Talon? Hey, that's the case, great. Man, we can... Yep, Talon. gonna do is land in Talon territory and actually want to shoot spiders and stuff and kill stuff that'll actually uh, give us some uh, reputation yeah you see like this big ugly dude 49 whoa
Hey now. And spiders too. That's actually gonna the way this new system is it might actually affect how how you're gonna gain rip oh great out of bullets Yeah, I need to check something out on that. Oh, we haven't actually met the town yet. Crap. Okay. I need to go meet him first, I guess. Okay, so I need to fly over here and scan. All right, new faction talent. There we go. Okay. Fly back over here. All right, do I have any more bullets? Oh, yeah, I can, uh... Any bullets, bullets, bullets? Yes. That's all the bullets I have left. All right, red dots are good. Oh yeah, we still get good good reputation for killing the uh, stuff. All right, good. So now what we need to do is just shoot a bunch of this stuff. Shoot him in the butt. Or the head works too. Oh, we're already friendly. Nice. Oh, now I wish I didn't sell the uh, shotgun. <laughs>
Pardon me while I reload. Thank you. Well, we definitely got a lot of meat. There's those raptors. Oh, good. Now we're on, uh, honored with them. Boom. I heard you, you stinking spider. Not too many shots left. Ooh. All right, so now we are honored with Talon, which is good. I guess it's at least a trading point. We can also probably maybe do some missions. I don't know. We'll just have to see what's going on. Uh, we'll go ahead and kill these other raptors that are over here. Boom, headshot all day long. Headshot. Oh, oh, goody, more spiders. They bring you meat. <laughs> and meds and stuff. All right, we are. So we should be probably 300 or 3,000. Yep. All right, let's head back to our. Ooh, that's a big, nasty dude. Somebody. Make it some noise. It's shut all day, baby. All right, let's head back to our ship. Just about out of ammo for this thing, too. All right, let's see. I don't think this is a, uh, yeah, it's a cigarette. Okay, I don't think the cigarettes have traders on it. Pretty sure they don't. Yeah. 
Okay, no big deal. Go ahead and drop all that stuff there. But hey, we're honored with uh, Talon now. So we can actually mine those items now if we want to. Lithian copper. Yeah, we could probably use a little bit of copper. Can't grab too much again because uh, we just don't have the live capa the uh, capacity. Ninety nine tons. Okay. Uh, looks like. Okay, we still got still live quite a bit. That tree is in a lovely way. All right, that's probably gonna be good enough. Okay, so need to mine some ore, right? Okay, let me show you a little something, something you can do. Low talent. Get out here on a uh, little bit flatter area. All right, good enough. Okay, so let's go to our harvest controller. Grab that container controller. Grab all of our ores that we have. Okay. So now, what you can do is, since you have the ore in your in your inventory, take it and drop it, and then pick it back up. It'll actually, oops, you know I'm connected. We'll drop it, and there we go. We completed that area. Okay, confirm. Now we're gonna proceed. Okay, so we have the titanium. And we gotta do this uh, 20 times. This is all the titanium we have. And then we can use this titanium to build other things. That's why I didn't build the uh, core right away or anything like that. So I gotta get a focusing lens, small focusing lens. I think we can buy them. Not sure. There we go. All right. Confirm that. And see, so now they need the uh, Sathian War. So that's why I bought the uh, Sathian War. And we got to do this 40 times. 
if you have more ore in your in your inventory you can do this a lot faster but I just didn't uh, I didn't have the money to buy enough do it a little bit faster ah oh, great you pain in the butts not even worth the bullet All right, back to what we were doing before we were so really interrupted. <laughs> then the last part of the engineering is you got to, to break down uh, Hardened steel or um, combat steel blocks. And you do that with your multi tool. All right, 20 more. Which we got to do 2,000 blocks. Which, if you're, you know, in the early game, you can still do that pretty easily by, uh, you know, taking over a POI or going to attacking a POI and basically breaking down the whole POI, you know, block by block. And uh, you can do that pretty, pretty quickly. So it's not too bad. All right, just about done. Uh, where does one find BPs for this mod? Uh, I tried quite a few reforging BPs, only a couple worked, and they slow and sluggish or over for CPU. Okay, uh, for Ascension, what you find, there's not gonna, there's not too much out on the workshop for Ascension. It's just for the simple fact that it's, it's still, it's only been in development since January, I think. So it's only a few months old, you know, and not a lot of people have done a lot of uh, stuff. Uh, are you any good at building, uh, building your own ships or anything? If you are, then I would suggest, I mean, you don't have to be the greatest builder, you know, once you start building it, it gets easier over time and I can actually help you uh, build, uh, build a ship. It just all depends on what you, what do you want? Um, what I do is, is whenever I go to build a ship, okay, like this is what I call my uh, pocket rocket. It's very simple, very simple build. Okay, the two drills that are in front, they didn't come with it. And it actually has two side seats, so this this ship can actually seat three. But what you, what you wanna do, depends on what level you wanna make your ship, and with this new version of Ascension, or the latest version of it, it's going to make leveling a lot more difficult. So these smaller, earlier ships are going to be more valuable than, you know, worrying about, you know, what about the level 25 stuff. So what I do is I first going to decide if I'm going to build a hover vessel or am I going to build a small vessel, capital vessel, or whatever. Okay, whatever you decide you want to, to do, um, you know, I myself kind of look at, you know, different pictures some pictures are pretty good and that you can kind of relate that picture and then turn it into an actual ship. But in actuality, this game works best if you literally make a cube, okay? You know, think of it like a board cube, if you're familiar with Star Trek. A board cube actually works great in this game. Why? I don't know. It just does. <laughs> but if you want something more elaborate, then... You know, there's not going to be a whole lot of blueprints that are going to be out on the workshop. I myself, I don't publish any blueprints, uh, just for the simple fact that uh, I build a lot of unique stuff. So, uh, but however, you know, if somebody says, "Hey, can you build me build me a ship?" I'll say, "Sure." 
So what I try to do is, is you know, look at your different levels, okay? Uh, like for organizations, we're gonna look at the uh, small vessels here. So at level one, uh, there's not a lot of stuff you can get at level one. Okay, you can get a cockpit, you know, you can get a few things, but you need thrusters. So in, it, the only way to get thrusters is you've gotta be level five. Uh, it takes a minimum of six thrust, thrusters on a small vessel. You have up, down, left, right, forward, reverse. So, you know, you can literally pack those thrusters around in one spot or spread them out. You know, getting better built at building takes time. So don't be afraid to literally build a block, okay? You have the cockpit wherever you want, and then you have stuff covering around it. That's fine. There is no uh, perfect way to build a ship. It's all a matter of some imagination, some design. You could literally make a ship, say, look like, you know, like my case that, how I check my, my blood sugar. There you go. So you can make something like that. Uh, you know, you can make, it doesn't really have any specific thing. However, there's a few things you definitely want to do is one is you want to make sure that, that uh, you don't leave a lot of gaps in your, in your builds. Okay, so don't leave a lot of gaps in your builds. Um, but uh, you know, look at look at what level you want to bring your your ship in, and then just build accordingly. So at level five, this is a level five ship. You know, you can actually have more little more options. You have these RCSs, which you don't really need. You can. You have a, a mini gun turret, large fuel tank. You know, it depends on how big and elaborate you want to get. Me, I like to do a stripped down basic model with a few essentials. A few essentials meaning oxygen station, armor locker, you know, uh, refrigerator, uh, you know, uh, some cargo containers, extenders, you know, so you need, and you did the most important one, the detector. That way you can fly around and actually detect stuff. Ooh, shield booster, that's cool, that's something new. Um, and then from there, you know, you kind you can you can modify your ship accordingly and keep building from there. Uh, you know, same way with your hover vessels, you know, figure out what you want to do in order to most the minimum build in order to actually drop down a hover vessel. Well, I think a hover vessel you can actually get away with a lot smaller. Uh, build. Um, let's see. Looks like you can literally build a hover vessel at level one. Okay, you're gonna have a flashlight, or you have a light. Um, you're gonna have a cockpit. You can use these ground repulsor engines, which are just like using the regular engines and thrusters, but it doesn't cost you much. Much. Uh, these aren't too bad. These are actually pretty good for for just the small ones. Um, they do have a lot of CPU requirement though. Uh, RCS is what need at level one. Uh, you've got your core main thing. Um, your cargo box, you could throw a couple cargo boxes on there. Maybe an oxygen tank, a fuel tank, and your basic generator. And you can literally build a real small hover vessel very, very quickly. Um, let me go to a, what I would consider a safer spot. Uh, let me get ahead up north. I think I'm on the international. Yeah. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to log out. I'm going to go to, to a creative and give you a little, a couple of little examples. Are you still there? Uh, old gamer, are you still there? And proceed. All right, let me uh, land up here. Uh, 
log out for a little bit and we'll go to a uh, simple creative. Now I don't have the absolute latest greatest on my creative, but you don't really need it. Not for some simple stuff like this or we're fixing to do. And if you want to get more elaborate with your builds, then, you know, some of that's going to take time. All right, we're going to log out real quick, go to a creative real quick, and show you literally how simple it would be to create yourself a, uh, a small ship. All right, uh, resume game in Ascension. Yeah, see, I'm on 1.7.8 build 20 on my personal. So I don't have the newest stuff, but it's only going to be a few things or, you know, it's going to be quite a bit of things, but uh, it's not really needed for, again, what, for what we're fixing to do. All right, <laughs> the Athena. Okay, so I'm here in a creative, and uh, if you're not sure how to use a creative mode, uh, not a problem. There's actually a lot of good videos on that too. Okay, so we can hit our H menu, and this is only in creative that you can do this stuff. All right, so we're going to build a very level, literally a level one starter hover vessel. Okay, so we need the core. Let's get rid of this other stuff here. All right, we need a core. We need these. We can have up to six. So we'll get uh, one, two, three, four of those at least. Um... We'll need a generator, a small Jenny, small generator, small fuel tank, and an O2 tank. And we can put a light on it too. I think that's also level one. Yep, unlock level one. All right. And then we're going to get, you can probably use carbon substrate. So, uh, yeah, we'll get some carbon substrate. Okay, so we'll hit. Number six. Okay, so we plop it down. Now this is gonna be on a planet, so it might be a little bit different if you're building on a planet or you're building anywhere else. Okay, oops, we got, forgot to uh, get the cockpit. Let's see, so we hit H menu again, and we need a level one cockpit. There we go, unlock level one. Okay, so here you can have a few design changes. Just right click on it. And you can get some, come up with some different uh, designs. I personally like it. this one because it's kind of a low profile type idea. Okay, so we can uh, maneuver this. There we go. Like that. Okay. So we have a little space in the back. Put our generator. Here's an O2 tank. There's a uh, fuel tank. All right, we need a spotlight. There we go, there's our spotlight. And now for our engines. Uh, and we need we need to have a couple blocks up here. Okay, so we'll do that, do that. We'll kind of spread this out just a little bit so it gives us a little bit more stability. All right. And these repulsor engines, boom, boom. 
There and boom. Okay, so there's our repulsor engines. All right, so what else can we unlock? That when we, is it that we able to unlock at level one? Okay, we'll go back to the tech tree and hover vessel level one. We don't need light. We got one of those. Okay, we can put a couple cargo boxes. Okay, great. So uh, cargo boxes. There we go. Uh, we'll grab uh, two, three. Uh, we'll just grab four. All right, this will give us some little bit of. Okay, so you want to kind of spread your boxes around. So we've got four boxes. Okay, so there's one. There's two. There's three. And there's four. Okay. And we'll hit F3 again. We'll check things out, see if there's anything else we can put on here at level one. We don't need the RCSs. Uh, ah, we can put a docking pad. So a docking pad should be okay. Um, the docking pad allows you to uh, uh, dock the vehicle to something. So we're going to put in a couple docking pads. Okay. Um, we'll have one here in the front. And when you use creative to, or to manipulate blocks, you're going to use insert and delete, home and in, and then page up, page down will lift it up and down. Um, insert and delete changes the different axis. You have your green, pink, and red axes. Okay. The little mesh uh, looks like a see-through kind of mesh that indicates the bottom of the block. So by turning it this way, placing it there, that means we can butt up against uh, the wall and it'll dock. Okay. Or we can go and land. Okay. So we can put this underneath. And there we go. Now we'll actually land and dock onto a bigger ship. Okay, so now all you literally do is just fill the rest of this in. You can click and hold and drag your mouse and it'll place multiple blocks at one time. You know, again, this is the most simplest design you can do. Now, the thing about carbon substrate is it's very, very fragile. It's not a very strong material. The way you change your block design, if you right click the block, you can choose whichever, whichever pattern you want to drop down. In this case, we're gonna drop these down. All right, there you go, you're done. That's literally it. That's all you have to do. All right, if you want a little bit of protection here, and then you can actually get a little bit more, more creative and say, oh, well, heck, I would like to have a little bit of wall here you know, kind of make it a lot look so, um, so goofy looking. This part here is completely up to you. You don't have to do it. You don't even have to put blocks on it at all. But, uh, you know, you might want to provide just a little bit of protection towards your engines. It's not going to be really makes a bit much of a difference because again, this is a level one vehicle. So it's not going to be a, a real strong vehicle. But yeah, using your different shapes is how you change things around. Uh, you can use your symmetry mode, which the way you do that is hit in and you can turn on what's called symmetry. Uh, you have your X and Y axis, X and Z and Z and y, or y and Z. I like using Y and Z mostly because it brings it right down the middle. And what you do in order to set that is you click in this, in a, if you click the side of the, of the block, it'll put it on the side. If you click in the middle of the block, it'll put it down the middle. And what this does is this actually indicates left and right. So it'll actually build, whatever you build on this right side or left side, it'll mimic on the left side. Let me show you. All right, so we're gonna get a little wall, put that around over here, go boom. And but now before I had to walk over here and Oh wait, they're already done. So that's how that uh, that's how symmetry mode works. All right, and you're literally this is done. I mean, this is this is it. This is all you have to do in order to build a a uh, uh, small uh, or this is a level one hover vessel. And 
we want to name it, so we're going to open it up. Okay, we're going to call this... Uh, uh, level 1... There we go, level 1, HV. You know, it doesn't have to be anything special. Okay, turn off our symmetry. And now we want to save our little our little blueprint, or save this as to a blueprint so we can bring in the game. All right, so what you do is you look at it, have your crosshairs on it, hold down the Alt key, press O, and that'll bring up this menu. And then you want to choose Save As, and it'll bring up with the name, Save As Level 1 HV. There you go. You're done. That's it. Now you have yourself your own blueprint in order to and has a little bit of storage, move around, and you can continue to add things to this. All right, but this is actually would be a pretty cool little little uh, deal. And if you hit P again, you can show your statistics. And obviously, this thing is going to be dirt cheap. I mean, getting eighty iron that's easy, sixty five copper that's easy, sixty nine silicon again easy and 248 carbon substrate, super, super easy. Very easy to get those resources. You know, say, okay, well, uh, I wanna make a SV and do the same thing. Okay, so what's the minimum you can make an SV? Uh, well, let's go to level one. Okay, level one, we get a generator, fuel tank, oxygen boxes, uh, core cockpit. Okay, so what is level three? There's no, now you have to have the thrusters. So at level three, you could uh, passenger seat, shutter door. You know, uh, you have all your different uh, controller boxes here, fridge, oxygen station, Gatling gun. Okay, so again, we can't, we can partially build it, but we still can't fly it. Okay, so at level five is the bare minimum. So at level five, we can make a small SV. You can have an RCS, you can even put in a minigun turret. Uh, here's fuel tanks, uh, armor locker, clone chamber, some extenders, your thrusters, which are the most valuable, passenger seats if you want to, landing gears, and the detector, and medical bay. So at level five is basically the lowest level you can make an S, an SV. Okay, so if we click on, hit our H menu, click on our small vessel. This will only show us small vessel things. We need to have a small vessel starter block. Okay, so a small vessel starter block. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of all this other junk. These are some other projects I was working on. Okay. So we're gonna grab, we got the carbon substrate already. So we need a, we need a minimum of six of these. So we'll have a small generator, small fuel tank. This is level, unlock level three. So we'll grab one of those, oops. If you right click, it'll grab how many you need. Uh, one at a time. There are six of those. One of them, one of them. A fridge, oxygen tank. Okay, so that's unlock level seven. You can, instead of the smaller tank, you can go with a bigger tank. Okay, this is unlock level five still. Okay, so let's go with a bigger tank on it. Oops. A uh, bigger tank. Uh, you could have a passenger seat if you want. Okay, so let's set all this stuff in here. You could have a couple of enclosed uh, passenger seats, which is actually not too bad. So you can you have any friends you want to come along with you. You could actually grab a couple of them. Not necessary, but you don't have to. You can if you want to. Okay, so we want an oxygen station. All right, keep uh, looking. Uh, we'll need some landing gears. So we'll take uh, we'll take three of those. Okay, again, that's low unlock level uh, five. Okay, uh, sure, we'll take a spotlight. It's always nice. And arbor locker is always good. 
Um, a clone chamber, if you want. Uh, it's level 12. So here you have a cargo container. Sure, we'll take a cargo container. A uh, harvest container. You never know. All right, so harvest container and ammunition container. So there we go, we have one of each containers. And we'll grab uh, oh, uh, a few of these uh, extenders. All right, so this is still in lock level five, so we'll grab a detector. And we could use some regular cargo boxes but these should be sufficing for you. Um, most of this other stuff that you're gonna find, except that's a level seven, you know, we're not having an, a, a closed cockpit. Uh, oh, speaking of cockpits, yeah, we actually need to make sure we have a cockpit. So there's a cockpit, there we go, level one. Our, uh, level one cockpit. Okay, the rest of this stuff is gonna be for higher levels. All right, so if you want a gun, you can go with the ones that you aim and shoot. Okay, that's level three. Or if you're not too too good with that, then you can always go with a, a, uh, a minigun, which is 1,000 CPU. Now, here's the thing. You're going to be limited as far as how much CPU you're going to have on your on your ship. I think it starts out with like 6,000. 6,000 CPU. So every time you add something, you're going to have to watch it. Now, this will be an automatic turret, you know, meaning that you're going to be one shoot, or it's going to be shooting everything for you, which is great if you absolutely want it that way. But you can also, instead of doing uh, doing this, we can actually do both. You can have one one manual and one automatic. So here we go. We have a we'll have a, a manual turret. All right. So that's pretty much about it as far as level five components. So we'll. So you always do what you start out with is a starter box. Okay, go ahead and drop that down. All right, now we put a cockpit on it. We're literally going to build pretty much the same th same way we did as the other one. Uh, cockpit. Uh, that's fuel tank. We don't need that. We do need a small generator. Got to get this small generator. Small generator. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna put down our cockpit, change that. Again, I like, I specifically like this one here. It just works better for me. All right, go up a couple. All right, so generator. Okay, there's that, our fuel tank, okay, our spotlight, okay, our fridge, O2 station, armor station, there's that, number four, Oxygen station number three. There's our. There's that. All right. So now we can. Let's drop in that. Set that in there. Okay. So now we can put in our boxes that we want to put in. Okay, so harvest controller. We'll stick it there. Use our multi-tool and remove some blocks here. Okay. One, two, three. I think that's all you can put on there. All right. And devices. All right. 128 of 128. Okay, so that's all you can put on that. All right, let's do over here. Okay, let's put down the K-1 
container controller. Or now we'll put down the ammunition controller. All right. So there's that. One, two, three. Oh, oops. That's 320. Three. One more should do it. Yep. Okay, now the your different container controllers, the extenders cannot be touching each other. So that's why I'm kind of doing it like the way I'm doing it right now. All right, universal, there we go. Now it's gonna look kind of funny, so we're gonna move this. Put that over here. How much does that give us? Almost. Does that give us a full mount? Yes, it does. Okay. And now we'll go ahead and put our... Put that there. Okay. All right, so now we want our thruster, or uh, we can put our landing gear on. We can put a clone chamber if you want. Uh, landing gear, if you right click, you can select different ones. We'll do that one there. There, and we'll go up here in the front. And that. Get those blocks out. All right, so now you want to go ahead and fill the rest of this in. I mean, literally, this is how how you uh, build and learn. Start out with a block. You know, and then just kind of play around with the blocks and stuff. You can get it as crazy as you want or as simple as you want. It just all depends on what you want to do. All right, we need a place for our clone cha our chamber. This will give us a spawn point here. We put it here. We can put it on the back here. Probably put it on the back here. That'd be a little bit better. There we go. All right, that way we have a place for our our turret. Okay, we're gonna put a turret, or we're gonna put a well, yeah, we're gonna put both. So number four here. Okay, there we go. We have some, and we'll okay, we'll do this. Go underneath it, and put our Gatling gun underneath that. There you go. Okay, so now the thrusters. Um, okay, forward thrusters. Okay. You have left. Right. Reverse. You have up, or I'm sorry, down. So up and down. All right, we're going to want to cover up our core there. So we'll get a couple of blocks here. And get some wall blocks be fine.
There you go. There it is. That's it. You're done. Now, is it going to handle real great? Probably not. <laughs> We're going to auto group everything so we know we have one, 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 one. Okay. So our statistics, yeah, we still have good yaw and roll pitch and everything like that. It's pretty decent. We can only lift 115 tons in all directions. So this is it. This is all you have to do in order to make a, a real cheap, small vehicle. You know, if you want to get more elaborate, you know, come watch one of my builds that I do. I'm still working on some of the uh, uh, Ascension stuff. Like this is the water strider for the, uh, this is actually in Ascension right now. This is one of my builds here. This here is the Stingray. Another one of my builds. And then here is the uh, Sunfish. Uh, another good build. You know, these are all different cruisers and stuff like that. Uh, and then I was working on something else here, Blue Dragon. I haven't decided if I was going to finish that one or not. But yeah, that's, you know, as you build more, you can get more done and get more uh, in-depth in things. It takes time. You know, it's not just something that's going to be, you know, boom, boom, you're done. It would be nice if it was that easy. But, uh, you know, just literally just play around blocks. You know, build something small, build something stupid. Who cares if it looks awesome? You know, it's not there to be awesome. It's just there to look stupid. <laughs> And then as you over time you get better with your builds, you can use other stuff, other stuff from people, you know, things like that, and get uh get you know improve your improve your stuff. There's lots of people that pretty put it quite a bit of stuff on the uh um on the workshop. I don't download or I don't deal with any of the stuff on the workshop because the simple fact is I don't know any how it was built. I build a specific way. Uh, the person that you may build a specific way. You know, so it doesn't, there's no wrong way to build a ship. There's no right way to build a ship. But you got to think of it as different scenarios that you that this ship is going to encounter. You know, do you want a good, uh, if a shield, or if your ship loses its shields, is it still going to be able to take a lot of damage? If it's not, well, then you're probably going to have some issues. You know, I hope that helps you as far as getting started and maybe getting a few things built for yourself. Oh, we got a... Ah, silicon. Yeah, we need some silicon. But, you know, again, you're just going to have to experiment with a lot of stuff. There's nothing wrong with, you know, figuring out, you know, what works good for you, what works bad, you know, not so good. You know, just experiment with things. Hey, spiders, quit it. I'm trying to get some... Whoa. Yeah, you know, so definitely experiment with stuff, you know, build things, you know, don't uh, don't be afraid to make some something dumb. You know, make a cube, you know, or you know, look at a picture and then try to incorporate that as an actual ship you know it's going to take a little bit of imagination if you want to build yourself if you can't build yourself or you don't want to build yourself or you find it too difficult or too long and exhausting it can be very long and exhausting uh you know it can be frustrating because you're trying to build it a specific way you know you're not sure how that's going to work out you know what do else do i need to do and especially when you're first starting out you know it can be very frustrating for yourself but don't worry just chill out you know build what you can you can always watch a few youtube there's plenty of youtube videos out there that should be uh, able to help you on uh, on building things but uh, again you know there's there's probably not going to be too many people that are going to produce a lot of mods or a lot of ships for ascension 
just because it's, it hasn't been out very long. It has nothing to do with, you know, good or bad or whatever. It just hasn't been out very, very long, and a lot of people haven't done it yet. I may start doing that. Actually putting some, you know, uh, a uh, low-level ship, you know, medium-level ship, and then, you know, a couple other ships. I've got some pretty decent builds that I've done myself, and they do pretty good. All right, we got here. Bannon Factory. That's actually not too bad of one. Get some good lube out of that. You know, this is literally a pretty simple build itself too, you know? Ooh, hello. Bannon Factory there, what is this one? Oh, the band assembly yard. That one's actually really nice. A lot of loot, a lot of goodies in there. You know, we might actually go do one of those. Probably do the assembly yard. Ooh, Polaris. Level eight. All right. Hopefully we can uh, scan these without getting shot up. We're here during the night time and we can uh, get honored with them pretty quickly. Well, I hope that helps you and give you some ideas. All right, what do we got here? Pirates. Ooh, level nine already. Yes, yeah, so not too bad. I'm still in pirate territory. Yep.
Let's see if we can get... You know, while I'm doing this, I could let all the uh, stuff smelt into bars and stuff. That'd be a wonderful idea. Ooh, you big and ugly. Hey, guess what? Shoot him in the balls. Oh, yeah, those gigas are really alert with a lot of stuff. Okay. Grab that. Got our oars. Uh, oh, nice. Got some Pentax in there. Just a little bit. that in there. Let's get that. Put that in there. And get that smelting. Let's see, did I have any more logs? Yes, I did. And we'll get that in there. Turn all that into... Night fiber. All right. I have got to use the restroom, so I'm actually going to log out. So I will be right back.
Alrighty, I'm back. Let's get loaded back in. Oh, the uh, the other thing I was thinking of was, uh, have you looked in the uh, workshop? You might find some stuff there on the workshop. Not sure how much or how, how, how many you'd have, or what you would have. Let's see, sun goes down. Oh, that looks cool. Spiders. Always fun. Come here, spider. Hit him in the butt. There's a whole bunch of them over here. Please just stay in there. We want to catch you.
Run the down. Ah. I didn't treat it. Range Bridge uh, There we go Spiders Space spiders Actually just freaking extra large spiders Bunch of raptors. More meat. I think we'll have a Dino Stew Royale. Num no. Big Triceratops. How much XP are you going to give me? I'm at 530. Gave me five. Killing mobs is not the way to level up. Don't bother, don't do it. All right, you about done? Nope, you're still going at it.
We leave gutters. Oh, good. So oh, honored. Back to my ship. Okay, put this stuff back. And that can go in my factory. We'll go check out these uh, couple buildings over here. Probably don't have anything, but never know. It could have a trader. Uh, listening post. I don't think any of them have a trader or anything. Oh, we'll check it out. Yeah, I don't think his listing post has any. Yeah, don't know unless you check, so. No big deal. Uh, droid base. I don't think this has got a... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it doesn't. What's the other one? Bastion. Nah. But it's now kind of night time, so we we'll go over here to Polaris Space and get honored with them real quick.
That was a few spiders to kill. Leaf cutters. Me in the butt. Damn spider. Oh, dermal parasite. Oh, crap. I don't think I have anything for a dermal parasite. Oh, yeah, I do. And a band-aid. There we go. I guess I did have some stuff for dermal parasite. Nasty little critters. Is a drone coming our way and I don't have enough bullets to take out the drone uh, maybe it won't see me keep flying that way Okay, it's going away. Actually, I can make me some damn bullets. Uh, what's that? Copper, and iron. Right, let's 
see if I can unlock. I just unlock this sniper rifle. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. I got 19. I right, put this back. And let's take all the band aids I can do. That was funny to sit there blowing up the uh more meat. Yay, spiders.
Oh wow, we're already friendly now. That's good. <coughs> okay, so what's our status with them? Oh, we're now honored with them. Okay, cool. <coughs> Alright, let's head back. Get our ship and move on. Excellent. All right, let's continue on doing our thing. Okay, so we we're still trying to get this out. Do we want to do that or we want to build something else? Okay, so what level am I right now? I am currently level nine. I could probably get to 12, which that would make us warp capable. So I think that's be the best thing to do. And I'm going to bring in what's called I call the refurb, which is an old design of a ship, but I remodeled it, redid it, and uh, made it better. Uh, that's the lifter. Nope, I want the...
on about this one. Yeah, I love like a little 12. Okay, two factory. All right, so uh, Polaris does have some traders over here. Uh, we might be able to find something. Small plaza, office, refinery, biofuel, uh, logistics hub, gas refinery, the logistics hub may have some traders on it. Well, let's find out. Game of spiders. Allure prod. Another spider. Any traders? Nope. Nope. Maybe the habitat. Let's find where the habitat. Apparently this place ain't got anything. Maybe over here? Maybe you got something. You got anything useful? Oh, hello. Ooh, an actual laser drill. That would be a lot better than mechanical. But you don't have any... Yeah, you got serial charges. Alright, I think I want to sell my mechanical. Buy a laser. And... Three, let's go for five charges.
Is a habitat going to have any? I don't think it does. The living quarters. Not see anything. Warehouse. Uh, nope. Pile fuel. That's just a big old garden. Wow. All right. That's kind of a big old bust. All right, let's go ahead and continue on. Scouting the planet, gaining some levels. Oh, there's actually a lot of stuff up here. What? Oh, what the hell just happened? Watch these butt monkeys. <laughs> kind of wild. That's something new. Good here. Station. Don't think that has core in it. Or if it did, it got shot up by the patrol vessels. Yeah, it looks like this thing got shot up by the patrol vessels. Yeah, it doesn't have a core.
Don't need anything in there. Don't need anything in there. Damn spiders. Okay. factory hmm something might be wrong with my blueprint there I oh, had yeah. Jerk. South.
Act. Yeah, we've got here. <laughs> oh, I bad in mine. It's actually not too bad.
In an archaeology site. It's not too bad to do. It's actually pretty easy to do. Not sure how or how the loot was. Could have the things we need. Well. What do we got here? Old tank. This might have a couple items. Yeah, my meds. Hmm, yes, and G. More meds. Trade station. All right, let's go process some of this material I have into other stuff. Hopefully 
various components. Yeah, let me go. Let me fix that uh, blueprint. Let me quit my game real quick. Just a second. All right, let's see, it should work now. Okay, a little bit of a text total. There we go. Okay, so I was going to dump in a lot of stuff, get some minerals and stuff processed. Like that. The stone, the iron. Okay. Oh, yeah. So 
So it's that missing cargo I have in the back of my in the back. I can uh What do you sell? Oop. All right, see if we can have another teleporter accident. Uh, I need to go to the portal hub. Hey, it worked just fine. Great. All right, we'll drop this stuff in. Okay, so I should be able to go to factory with this now. Yeah, now it's working right. Okay. Wait, that's not it. This one's it. Titanium. Yay. Okay, cobalt ingots. All righty, there's C. That's uh, three, so there's 30, 60, 90, 120, 120, 865 minus 82 say 3 divided by 2 is 360 or 386 of those okay 1 2 3 1 2 3 5 6 7 It's fine. Okay. Copper ingots. Take care of that.
All right, carbon substrate. Seventeen hundred minus two seventy eight. All right, and then that's carbon fiber tubes five by two. That's seven hundred and eleven of these things. Ten eleven. Okay. So iron. Don't have enough iron, but that's okay. We'll just uh, make all we have. Okay, so that'll get this working. Doing this for a little bit, and yeah. cheese. That's not good. Look those all out. Cheese oh, is definitely cold. If it's partially frozen. <laughs> oh, yeah, I need to see if I can. Do I need to focus on this one? Apparently I don't. What do I need one on the other one? Oh well.
Apparently I need to go get some more stone now. I had a local. Probably be better just to teleport back and then pop a few rocks around there. Yeah, some of the rocks give you 50, 50 XP. Some of them don't. Weird. We're building. <laughs> Thank you. 
the big items. You can just drop in the, uh, I guess I'll do it. I'm going to finish up what I got here. Actually, we'll just do this. Make a bunch of uh, carbon substrate. I mean, if you want to bring the timer down, what you do is you keep doing that, keep building parts and stuff, throwing the parts in into the uh, excuse me factory. If you just put just the uh, material in by itself, the ingots, you don't knock off any time of it. So, uh, there's a copper. So if I go kill a POI, I'll have all this material very, very quickly. And I think that's what we'll do. All right, uh, grab all that. Grab that. Let me go back to the trade station. So, which one do I want to do? Hmm. Pop this stuff back off. We're in range of the train station. Okay, so what do we... Oh, we could buy ammo. Hell yeah. Let's see, there's a thousand rounds. Very good. about that being a thing. So now we got some bullets. <laughs> okay, so which oh we are some uh, Let's go visit the uh, the abandoned mine would be pretty good. It's not too difficult to do. Czar has traitors and all that. Not sure what they have. Well, let's find out. Merchant, what will you buy? Not much. We 
guess the only merchants that are here. Yep, still on. Okay, so we have the archaeology site. That wouldn't be too bad. Or the abandoned mine. Hmm. I'm thinking more of the abandoned mine because it's going to have a lot more stuff in it than the archaeology site. Let's do the abandoned mine. Plus, I can tear down the abandoned mine and get uh, resources and stuff. Archaeology side years only not much you can tear down. Most of it's made out of concrete, so concrete's not going to do me much good. I used to know where the, uh, you could actually, you know, shoot down to the core and, uh, be done with it pretty quick. I just don't have enough bullets right now to actually do that. So we're not going to do it. We'll just. Right. Are you Creel? You're just in the wrong place, the wrong place. I have a lot of bits and bobs. Hear all the footsteps and it's all like below me.
All right, we can turn these switches off. That turns off all the uh, turrets down below. actually secret passages and stuff you can go through on this one here to get to the bottom. In fact, some of this got shot up. I think what I'll do is I'll park my, uh, my ship down there so it doesn't get all shot up. Yeah, got a little bit of C4 around here somewhere. <clears throat> yep. Let's see, not much. I don't think I'll be doing any drilling right now, so I'm going to leave that here. Yo. Next, you gotta blow up that ramp. I don't know how I could shut it out. But that works too. Alright, Mr. Spider, so there you go. Those are court scorpions. All right. I have a lot of stuff we can definitely use. A trap door right there. Yep. Mm, coffee. There is and G. Might try the S and G. I know the uh, epic one is actually pretty pretty damn good. It doesn't do as much damage as the Raider pistol. But the magazine is actually a lot, a lot more.
Let's check out this SMG, see if it's any good. Do, 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 do. Where you at, big and ugly? I think single shot's better. Yeah. Single shot is better. come from God it things ugliest brick Reload all my guns. <laughs> I have infinite flight. Hey now. Dispatching those things is pretty easy. <laughs> uh 
just knows where to where the uh, trap doors are, huh? <laughs> that was terrifying. <laughs> oh yeah. All these things want to do is just give you a big old kiss with that nastiness. Well, I've done this this POI many a times, so uh, doing it again is not a problem. Got a lot of hidden passages and stuff in it too. Uh, it's got quite a bit of good, you know, some good loot. That's what we need. Uh, we'll do a lot of looting later uh, once we pop the core. <clears throat> Well, it's the small stuff that we'll take, though. We don't have to mess with it later. Yeah, low light. Yeah, I guess it could be. Yeah, definitely be scary. That's for good, sure. Depends on how you, uh, if you get terrified or not. <laughs> I mean, if you crank up the volume a little bit. You can hear them walking around, and they're sound like they're you know, squishing on some squishiness. I sound like they're right here. They're probably below me. Yeah, they're underneath me. <laughs> You've been bouncing between Skyrim and... Die, you ugly thing. These things are, like, hard to hit sometimes. Never played Skyrim or Pokemon Unite. Now I played Pokemon Go. <laughs> Ooh, mini gun. That's cool. That can come in handy. Of course, it's only going to have it's just its initial clip. Oh wait a second! I got I got I got ammo for that thing. Oh yeah! <laughs> I got ammo. Let's see. Where's it at? Oh, yeah. Keep that on me. Uh, let's see. Let's go back to that. Drop that off. Metal scraps. My friend at work talked me into it. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> Duke Nukem. <laughs> yeah, yeah, look at this. <laughs> This damn gun's bigger than me. <laughs> Let's go have some fun. <laughs> oh, there's another loot box in here, too. Oh, yeah. 
Ah, that's good. Pocket rocket. There's a dump in there. God, it sounds like it's right here. It's got to be down this thing. Okay, that's an elevator going up. Those are trap doors right there. <laughs> See what I mean? Gotta kind of watch it. All right. Oh, yeah. Hey. That's where you take care of some business. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, break through the floor and grab your ankles. Yeah, exactly. Okay, now you can play with the switches and then blow this thing up, but it also blows up a lot more other stuff. Um, I'm not going to do that. We're actually going to use a little bit of C4. And we're actually going to blow through this right here. I don't know if I have enough C4, but we'll sure we'll try. Yeah, good. It only took one. All right. So now. Oh. All right. We still have baddies in here, but we can actually. Uh, Use our multi-tool and dig dig through here. All right, there are some nasties down here. Ah. Yep, there they are. Shall we go say hello? I'm not hearing any other. There's still some more screamers somewhere. All right. Bridge. God, those things sound nasty. Yeah, I think it's behind one of these. Yeah, here it is. That's good. Now we get the oxygen. Yay! I actually want to tear this thing apart down, but uh, from down, uh, from top down. You don't want to really do it during the inside. But right here, we're, we're, this is just fine. And this will give us a, not only completing our quest we got to do, uh, not really a quest, but uh, that's pretty cool how they did this. But uh, a uh, mission to pop 2,000 blocks. 
So we'll definitely be able to do that. There's a switch up there. Never knew. Oops. More loot containers. Ah, more ammo. All right, pocket rocket bridge. Controller, oops. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll connect to this container box here. And that way, whenever I pick stuff up, it'll go in that instead. And we'll just kind of sort this stuff out later. This is the secret passages you can uh, wander around in and some of them they do lead to other loot containers but if we're going to be tearing this thing ever down we don't really have to worry about it too much more loot yay Definitely get lost in this mess. All right, we're going to stop it at the start at the top and just start working our way down. Take care.
All right, I don't want to get my vehicle shut at while I'm while I'm doing this mess. Come on. Oh, I'm too heavy. That's what the problem is. It's saying, hey, dummy, you got too much junk in your daggum. And some titanium. I'll just get, get uh, all this stuff here. So I'm still got another screamer still. Make sure we have it on salvage. Alright, I should be able to fly a little bit. There we go. And thrusters.
Eat that sucker. I heard you, spider. Suck on bullets. <laughs>
Hey, we'll get all this fuel. Excellent. Eat bullets.
tank, tank, tank. <laughs> I find any more charges. Don't think I did find any more charges. Bridge. No, those are that's not it. I don't know if I can make it with a portable constructor or not. Let's find out. All right. Yes, I can. Multi charges. Okay. See, so unlock it. All right. Tools. There we go. And what does it take to make those? Fuel cell and steel. That's easy enough. I got plenty of, of uh, steel plates. Okay. And fuel cells. Hey, make it all. Is this vanilla or reforged Eden? This is neither. This is actually a new scenar uh, scenario called Ascension Unchained. Um, it is a little bit different. Uh, it's got some of the uh, reforged Eden stuff in it, uh, but it's also got a lot of new stuff in it too. So uh, it's actually pretty cool. Um, the shields aren't nerfed to death like they are in Reforged Eden now. Uh, why it's like that, I don't know. Because they wanted to add more junk to your uh, to your stuff. 
Um, there's a lot of new stuff in, different turrets than what Preforge Eden has, but they're, they both play similar in concept, but one vehicle that works in, in Ascension and Chain will not work in a Reforged Eden. And, but Reforged Eden vehicles will somewhat work in Ascension Unchained. So hopefully that answers uh, your question, what you're looking for. One of the unique things about uh, Ascension Unchained is this. Whenever you actually join the game uh, and you choose which planet you're going to be on, you actually are choosing a faction. You know, uh, Trade Fraction, Krill, Pirate, uh, Wastelander, uh, Far, Tesh, uh, Polaris, Colonus. You become a human and then, nat and then uh, neutral. I am currently part of the uh, fire, uh, uh, Pirate Faction. So I'm going to go ahead and create my new faction, which is uh, 40 ounce. 40 ounce thieves and we are 40 T there we go so when you create your faction you're just going to be listed under whatever faction you actually joined so that's actually really really cool I like that idea you become part of the uh, war um, over the galaxy uh, so it also brings a lot of new stuff too the faction bubble that you're in can actually grow as you take out more of the enemy, uh, more, uh, more and more of the enemies. So it's actually pretty cool to do that. Where does this go? Oh wow, all the way down here, huh? Well, that's cool. You can uh, you can play on a server if you want. Um, if you have uh, uh, Empyrean, this is the latest and greatest content that, that is out right now from the developer uh, of Ascension Unchained. Um, it's on it's called Ascension Unchained UK, and then it'll have a designated number meaning uh, when the next time it'll be updated and. Uh, so that's that's what I'm currently on right now. Looking at some of the new stuff, there's quite a bit of new stuff that uh, was added to Ascension. Uh, I normally play on the PvP server, which is Ascension Unchained, but uh, PvP uh, everywhere is PvP, so there's no actual PvE zones, um, which is to me is pretty pretty awesome. Just brought in a big huge uh, uh, dreadnought that I like to fly around in. And yeah, it's been pretty good. So hopefully that kind of somewhat answers your question. If you have any questions about the Ascension and Chain, I'll be more than happy to answer them too. It's not the same, I will tell you that. It, there is two different, it's two different styles of gameplay. Um, you might really enjoy this one. And you might think, well, this kind of sucks. Uh, the biggest thing, the, one of the new changes they did was uh, the, on how you level up. So right now, I'm currently level 10. And it's really hard to actually make levels now. Uh, you can't just go shoot a bunch of raptors and, you know, gain a bunch of, uh, of levels. Um, you can't just go out and, uh, you know, kill a bunch of drones and gain a bunch of levels you actually got to go out and do stuff in order to actually gain any levels now, which is pretty cool. I like that whole concept, you know, that the, that was put in. Uh, it really makes, whenever you level up and you get that new piece of technology, it really has more meaning to it than, oh boy, I got a new shield generator. 
you know, does it, hopefully that makes sense to you. Right now I'm doing the um, place advanced building blocks or destroy them uh, as part of the class quest. So that's the reason why I'm trying to tear this thing down, build you know, block by block. I'm up to 1,200 blocks. Um, but I'm not going to sit here and tear this whole entire thing down. I just want to get the blocks done and, and call it good and move on to something else. Trying to get to some of the new stuff that's uh, in the game. So there are some really cool turrets too that, that uh, were added. Uh, you gotta check it out if you if you enjoy if you enjoy uh, Empyrean, which I do, I really do. Uh, you probably might enjoy enjoy uh, playing this uh, scenario. But they both play in very similar fashions. The other main thing is how the text tree is. Here you have what's called specialization tech tree. These are from each of the races. Have certain things that you need to unlock. So here's trade research. Here you have uh, Tesh research. You know, this is an awesome long range and renate uh engineering bolt very cool <laughs> very expensive to make but yeah it's very very cool um here's some new stuff you know you have this quantum furnace which will actually go on a uh, base cv sv or hv uh you have a quantum deconstructor again it goes on a on a, a base cv sv or hv and you have a quantum advanced constructor that goes on a base CV, SV, and HV. So that is some of the new, give you kind of an idea of some of the new stuff that's in Ascension Unchained. I think it's pretty cool, you know, and let's take up just a one, it's just a one by one uh, spot when you lay it down. Takes up less space, still uses the same amount of uh, uh, resources, energy and stuff like that. Also costs a lot different in order to build. There's a lot of new items that are in the game, uh, such as uh, these uh, quantum processors. You need quantum processors in order to build the uh, uh, extender cores, uh, extension cores. Yeah, CPU extension. Uh, you need these quantum uh, processors in order to build those. So it's another item you have to go, f uh, you can't you can't build them, but you can definitely either buy them or you can find, you can actually find them out in the uh, world too. And one of the really cool things about the uh, this this here is the fact that you can see container controller. There we go. I'm trying to think. Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, lost my train of thought. I'll think of it here in a minute.
up to 1400 out of 2000 so not too many more blocks you can find the ascension unchained on the workshop just go to the workshop, do a search for Ascension Unchained, you should cop up, or it may even be up on the first page. Actually, quite a bit of uh, hard and steel in this big place. The one thing about the, the Ascension Unchained is CVs really aren't your combat vessels anymore. Uh, I mean, they are, still are, don't get me wrong. Uh, they have their place, but at the beginning, they're more like a transport. Um, you know, transporting yourself or uh, HVs, SVs, you know, from one location to another. Um, they're. It's not that they've been, they haven't been nerfed or anything like that, it's just that the shields on an SVHV are more powerful until you get into the um, progenitor stuff. You know, like the uh, augmented shield generators and stuff like that. So again, there's a lot of new stuff, and there's some stuff that you haven't that I haven't been able to show you because I just haven't got the level. Uh, this this server was only up recently updated tonight. What's the range on this thing? 15 meters. Oh wow. Okay. You should definitely check it out though. I think you'll uh, enjoy the, uh, this this uh, Ascension and Chain is also getting updated constantly. So, um, you know, which is a good thing. 
it's not being set around, you know, waiting for a while or whatever. It does get updated by query pretty often. There for a while, it was getting up. It was getting updated like for oh, heck, about every other day. It seemed like. And when you brought in new, really new stuff, you had to have had to uh, start over. So that's what the new serve the servers are for now. Is they're actually going to be resetting once every three months, so that uh, you know you you can have play this version, work out anything that's done wrong with it, uh, enjoy the content, and you know just have fun. That's what it's all about? Just have fun. Well, we're up to 1600 now of these stinking blocks. Like right now, my little starter SV doesn't have any shields, so that's why I'm I'm not knocking down the entire building because it's actually I'm actually keeping it underneath the. Uh, 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 blocks so that if there's a uh, drone that just happens to wander by, it's not going to sit there and shoot my ship up, which would be kind of annoying. I got some really cool builds that uh, if I'm able to bring it in, I will. <laughs> Pretty powerful. A lot of fun to play in. Uh, they do require quite a bit of resources though, so Kind of doing right now will actually kind of help bring that stuff in I've actually built uh, three ships that is used uh, in this scenario. Um, they are for the Aquitation Empire, which is a new faction that's in the uh, game. And the Aquitations are, as far as level of technology, they're they're pretty advanced, um, more advanced than than uh, uh, you know what you start out at. Their ships are going to be are pretty tough. Uh, I've got to thinking about tomorrow, maybe doing a, a creative session on building the battleship. And these are CVs that I'm actually building. A little bit earlier this evening, I was able to go off some of the uh, some of those uh, ships. But yeah, if you have, if you're a builder, or a creator, or something like that, and you want to submit something into the Ascension, you know, uh, they do accept stuff. You know, it can't be, uh, you know, extremely overpowered or or you know, it's got to look nice. You know, there's got to be some standards to it. Eighteen hundred out of two thousand. Got two more blocks to go. And if you, uh, again, if you have this game and want to play and want to join, you can. Just, uh, you can actually play on this server that I'm playing on. This has all the latest, again, that has all the latest and greatest stuff. 
This is the Ascension Unchained UK server. Uh, okay, so old man gamer. Eighteen out of two thousand. Not too many more of these blocks to go. Hooray! Okay, so there's a drone. Apparently, it doesn't see me. Hooray! That's why I kind of let the sides up. <laughs> but just in case. Nineteen fifty five out of two thousand, just about there. subclass all right uh that's Polaris agent tree All right, new subclass. Now I like marksman because you can use the sniper. I like sniper rifles and the laser, the laser rifles. I like those. 
let's return to main. Soldier is assault rifles, uh, tactical and rocket launchers. It's pretty good too. Um, agent is pistols, which is in submachine guns. It's not bad. Vanguard, shotguns, assault shotguns, mini, let's see, laser mini guns, advanced mini guns. So that's what Vanguard, that's pretty cool. And specialist is plasma cannons, high output plasma cannons, plasma rifles, flamethrowers. <laughs> I am going to choose, I do believe, uh, Marshman. And confirm. There we go. Okay, so we're doing Marshman as our subclass. Now let's just kill a bunch, bunch of stuff. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. We have to empty out our, uh, our ship here before it'll fly. I'm pretty sure it is overweighted. Okay, so let's grab a bunch of this junk here. Oops. Let's put that back. Put that back. All right. Grab that. I'll do a little bit of that. There we go. That way I'm not dumping everything. Uh, some Sathian plates, we kind of keep those. Um, let's see, grab that. Grab that. That can go in a different location. All right, uh, fridge for that. All right, F2, let's go to library and choose. The Revs, Ravenger, where you at, there you are. This is an awesome SV. All right, let's go back to the library and the refurb. To the factory. All right, good, we have enough. We can actually, oh, still can't lift off. Okay, well, let's unload a few more things. How much you got? 59 tons in here. Okay. Uh, harvest. Got some rock salt. I'm not sure what that's used for. Oops, wrong one. Put our ores over here in the harvest controller. Harvest controller. All right, so let's hit P and see how much we are over. Minus 140, 104 tons. Okay. Fifty nine, nine point four, seven point two nine, twenty seven tons. Okay.
Grab that. Okay, that's pretty heavy there. Bridge. All right, so what's the heaviest here? Uh, Sathian plates. Okay, so... We lift off? Nope. Not yet. How about now? Can we lift off? Nope. Okay. How about now? Yep. Okay, can I make some more thrusters with the portable? Let's see, F1, F2, F3. Small vessel. Okay, there is no yellow marker. Huh, okay. Well, let me pull off some thrusters elsewhere. And, oh, see if I can just rotate them. If I can just rotate that one. That might give me enough thrust. Let's see. Rotate it that way. Oh, I need to turn on the thrusters. All right. Let's change it back to where it was. Yeah, I can still lift off. There we go. So we got to turn the thrusters on like a big goofball. Okay, so let's see if we can put all this stuff back in here. And yes, we can. <laughs> Not bad for a cheap little thing. With some little bitty thrusters. Okay. Oops, looks like I need to get some food in me. Uh, let's see here. Let's enjoy a burger. Num num. Drop that off. Don't need this stuff here. We need a steak. There we go. All right. Oof. Boy, I don't move very fast, that's for sure. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. So... That's the Polar Strait Station. All right, do I just need to be level 12? Okay. All right, and I'm level 10, almost 11, so yeah. We'll just continue to... Uh... Let's see, we wanna head southeast. Boy, this little thing is just pushing it.
<laughs> well, I think the wings help. But man, my travel speed sucks. <laughs> All right, uh, yeah, we'll run along the South Pole here. Do some scanning. Well, it'd be nice if I can. I'll take it a few things out, got us back up to speed. So we're not uh, going so bloody slow. Ah, good, level 11. Just need to get to 12. Wow, we're climbing now. There's golden in dire hills. Ooh, this thing just slides. <laughs> think it is might be oh yes hell yeah this is this is a uh, POI that we can actually take over um, it's not a regenerative POI and it's got the quantum con, uh, new constructors in it too. So all we got to do is just build a All right, let's grab our uh, portable constructor because we need to build a core. So we can take this place over. And we're gonna actually make this our actual little base here. Because it's actually got a shield generator, it's got all kinds of goodies on it. All right, one core coming up.
we go. Awesome. Yeah, and all these uh, soldiers here, they don't attack you. If you take this thing over. And they definitely don't defend for you either. So. <laughs> Got a bunch of boxes. We'll rearrange. I've rearranged one of these before to better suit what what needs to be done. So, all right. Oh darn, we're gonna get the block that time. Okay. We do have just a tiny bit. What? There we go. Haha, <laughs> we have shields. All right, we need a Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect to this thing here. I'm gonna drop all this stuff off. Too bad we couldn't use this Imperial turret. That'd be awesome. Or plasma turret. Very cool. All right, let's go ahead and connect to that. And time to clean this place up. Grab that. Got a couple extra extra cores in it, which is kind of nice. We'll kind of fill in a lot of this stuff here. Okay, do that, F4, let's grab these blocks here, oops, turn the shields back off. We're just going to grab and dump for now. Not like it really matters because this is a PVE zone, anyways.
We don't need these big generators. So we'll dock those down. We'll actually turn around and kill all this all these guys that are in here. They're not gonna do anything good besides just make noise and be annoying. Alright, put a little extra fuel in this because it's almost empty. Uh, sure. Drop those in there. All right, these are these quantum uh, deconstructor, quantum uh, constructors, and quantum furnace that you can get, which is really, really cool. We're gonna make this our little base. Just kind of clean up all the crap. <laughs> Oops.
Okay, do I? Yeah, I should have to buy some glass. Not much. I'll get more. Level 12. Hell yeah. I can spawn in my new ship. Yeah. Sea spawners. Uh, sentries. Here we go. Go ahead and activate all those. Let's see. These I don't want shooting predators. That all there, I'll just knock that all down. Okay, symmetry.
All right, let's get some centuries. Should have, yeah, we should get 14 of them, but.
Okay. Uh, where's that small generator at? That's literally all we need. I'll save some CP right there. Lots of bugs out there. <laughs> I take care of those. Okay. Still there. Have another. Let's see. Show on hood and show on hood. One down there. And apparently, there's one over here. That's about a dumb place to put one. Okay. There's still more I gotta do, but uh, now nah, that'll do all right. All right, so let's get a couple boxes made. Let's see what's going to call this one. Oops. 
let's uh, call this one materials. All right, this one here is going to be our output. Call this one ore and decon. All right, so let's dump all that there. And output as materials or in decon. Really, you can do that again. Or there we go, finally. on the uh, pocket rocket okay origin base output just got the materials and all that stuff there Pocket rocket bridge. All right. Okay, so materials and output. All right. Uh, oops. F3, base. We need... There we go. Get a spawn station here. Need a fruit processor. Rocket sure wants to get there. Uh, fridge, drop that stuff there. All right. So we'll do ammunition controller. So what, 80k start out. Yeah, we'll just do one. Output. Actually, put this all the way at the bottom. I'm going around in circles. Uh,
There we go. That'll take care of all the riffraff. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, centuries. These are the ones here. Right, so more. <laughs> All right, blocks. We need, uh, yeah, I'll make some of these one, two, three, five, six, six of those. Okay. Manufacture all that crap. Now to actually put solar, you can actually put a battery boat to actually put the solar panels. Yeah, you gotta have uh, solar cells. So I'll have to go see if I can find some. All right, uh, do, do, do. aviation. Output. Yeah, I can dump all those in my. Dump all that in my factory here in a minute. Let's get this place sealed up. There we go. Now we should be sealed. Yep, there we go. Cool. Oh, it didn't have enough oxygen in it. Okay, that's fine. Okay. So we could actually build. I don't know if there's any uh, statistics. So Talon, Polaris, and Pirates are the only ones that can do a base attack here. And well, I'm kind of honored with all of them, so. Don't have to worry about base attacks. All right.
dump that in there. Alright, let's go downstairs. And continue messing with this thing. Yeah, we got a got a fridge now. They sure are noisy. <laughs> killing all these guys why because they do that they don't they don't defend you now there are there are ones you can actually build that actually defend so I mean it would be cool if they defended. Looks like maybe the rest of them. Oh, there's some. Back in the brain. All right, was there any of them that are wandering out here? Yeah, there's one. <laughs> bang, 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 bang.
Okay. Let's kill the rest of them. And they're probably all downstairs. In here, nope. The gurgle, gurgle, gurgle's not so noisy anymore. Eh, it's still around. <laughs> Come on, reload. All right, I'm not hearing any more. Go ahead and turn shield back on. Sound like there's still one more. Where are you at, you sucker? I don't see him. All right, well, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to knock this big junk piece of junk down. Much better. Okay. Oops, we got to turn the shields back on.
All right, six. There we go. All right. So what I'll try to do is put the uh, solar panels up here on top. And I imagine they're probably going to have to be facing, looks like facing north. Don't know how much solar energy we'll actually get. Either way, it should be fine. Heard you walking somewhere. There you are. All right. So let's drop all this stuff back off. Go to. Materials. Hey, right, pocket rocket bridge. There's that. Yeah, we'll just rename this. Uh, Fort Lazy. <laughs> there we go. Turn that back on. Pocket rocket. Okay, I think I finally got everything kind of sorted out here. I could add some guns to it. I mean, but since there's no base attacks, don't really need it. All you need is just bait to kill the local wildlife. Since in a PVE zone, we don't need need weapons either. Because again, we're in a PVE zone. Not, it's not going to be needed. Good. Knock this down one more. Instead of having two layers up here. Let's go one. Yeah, I think I'll do that. First of all, I want to move the... Uh, Okay. Yeah, we'll just stick them here, be fine. Uh, and these can actually go on the SV too, so. I don't know if I'm going to leave him here or actually attach him by SV. Probably attach him by SV. Come on.
But for now, I can definitely use them here instead. All right, and let's go ahead and redo this roof. All right, get her done, get her done. Oops. And there we go. It should be sealed. Yep. Awesome. Okay, so this could go into output. And that's materials. Okay. All right, spawn in my new ship. Start the old production. And spawn. This is a great ship to start out with as far as exploration and everything else. It's got plenty of cargo. Do whatever you want. And apparently there's something kind of invisible, something there. Okay. 40T, manage. I like to put the red core in here, which I want to do that. So I'm not using a goofy amount of fuel. And actually wouldn't be too bad. Could put it in the base, but eh. we'll do it right in here. Takes a snout, add this into it. There we go. Now we don't have to worry about uh, always adding fuel and oxygen. We just need to add some, which that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna add a little, uh, but we don't have to add a whole lot. There we go, 15 fuel cells and 
we'll put in 10 O2s. That way I can actually leave this running all the time and don't have to worry about it. Uh, oh, I forgot to name the rename the fridges. All right, so this is 40T. This one here is food raw. And this one here is food meds. All right, so now this is all the raw food that you're going to make stuff with. All right, and food and meds. Kind of a little way I, I set mine up, which actually works pretty good for me. Uh, there we go. Got one, yep. As I get more stuff. <laughs> All right, uh, raw food. Those there. What the hell was that? Oh, it's my ship wanting to shoot shit. <laughs> I haven't put any ammunition in, that's why it's, you know, acting all goofy. All right, pocket rocket. Uh, there you go, have some ammo. That's handgun. Uh, ship ammo, there we go. All right. Okay, handgun. All right, guns. Right, a lot of those I will throw away. Uh, equipment. There you go. Ten gun ammo. Okay, harvest controller, which is more decon. Bridge is just about done. Let's go to materials. Uh, actually, I'll put that on the base. Or in decon. Uh, oxygen. Uh, fuel. Armor and boost. And food beds. See, materials. Ooh, found lots of that's lots of money there. More decon than that. Uh, 
Okay. Prefab. Trade items. Heavy weapon. Shotguns we don't need. Make me a T2 sniper, which I'll probably do that. Should be a lot better than this T1. Materials. Can I do a T2 sniper? Until you get to level 15. Okay. So I'm stuck with a T1. All right. Trade items. Okay. Pocket rocket. Trade items. Bridge. Output. Or in decon. Harvest is containers empty. Harvest is empty. Okay, so that's all empty now. All right, let's take out all the uh, fuel and O2 in this thing. And oxygen. There we go. All right. All right, refab. Oxygen. Fuel. You know, I might keep this little bugger just to uh, maybe redo it a little bit, make it a little bit slimmer, but to uh, go mine with it? Oh, hell, that'd be actually pretty good. I uh, could use a shield generator on it, which I might do that. But yeah, let's kind of redo this thing. So instead of just completely breaking it all apart, uh, let's do the thrusters off. This would actually be a pretty good little miner. All right, we don't need that much ammo on it. Okay. me is it just three okay uh, lazy vices Okay, let's access this. All right, 
materials and output. Let's get some better thrusters for this thing. Mediums are nice. These advanced ones are really good. 40. Okay. Probably gonna need a CP extender. And I should be able to taxi tank and a small shield. Hell yeah. We'll do that. Just unlocking what I need, absolute need. So. Ah. Let's unlock the long range scanner. So, uh, specialty tree. Okay, here's the one I want 50 there and 35 there. Heck yeah. That one is absolutely awesome. Okay, so let's turn this into a little SV miner, which I think will be a good idea. Let's go to devices, access that. Okay, do I have any? Okay, I got one more of those. That's great. Um, most of that stuff I have there. Oh, excuse me. It's for uh, bases, so. All right, let's get one of these in an extender. Okay, get a shield and get a pentaxi tank. Then we're gonna build these. Uh, 12 of them? 11, 12. Yeah, let's do 12. Okay. Oops. And we also need another controller. Harvest controller. Yeah, there we go. Now, hopefully, I have enough materials in order to make all this. If I do, great. If I don't, no problem. I think I'm lacking on the cobalt. So that means I'd have to go up to the moon in order to get some. Wait a second, I can deconstruct all this stuff. All right, uh, is there a okay, the base deconstructor? I know I have that one, but I'm not too sure if there was all the stuff was actually fixed on it. Okay, so what does it take to make that? Reactor core. I know this one works 100%.
output You know, I'm going to I'm going to do a little test here. All right, to make a hardened steel block. Hey, okay, to make a hardened steel block, sixteen and sixteen. Okay. So this is Orin Decon. Oh, one of those in. Let's see if this works correctly. All right, Orin Decon. And materials. Well, I did it so fast, couldn't tell. Okay. I have eight seventy nine. Oops, wrong one. So eight seventy see sixteen. I would put it at uh nine oh five. 9-11. So it should be 9-11. Yeah. 9-11. Okay. Uh, 76. Yep, okay, it's working correctly. Good, 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 good. All right, so now we can get rid of a lot of this junk. Um, things that I might think that has some cobalt in it. Uh, flares don't. Pretty sure this could be interesting. That could possibly. Maybe we don't need these antennas. Or that stuff, or that, or that. Or that. Okay. Okay, so player. I'll put, grab that. Need that, that, and that. There's some steel blocks. Let's build a few more steel blocks. Okay, so furnace. Uh, let's see, ore and decon, and output to materials.
Okay, there's that, and then we'll build a few blocks. I'll do like 20. Maybe a few more. <laughs> All right, how much juice is in left in this base? Uh, we can turn the shields back on. Okay. Okay, um... Got three of them, which isn't bad. It's not. Okay, there. generator and our taxi tank in there okay we'll go in pretty nicely right there okay taxi tank Go real nicely right there. Okay, let's get, uh, let's get a little symmetry here. Which way is that? Okay, it's even with that. Okay.
Alright, let's get more blocks. Probably don't need the uh... I'm trying to make this thing look a little bit better. I like, like building a new ship. There's still some, st yeah, there's some stuff still in here. Probably don't need this thing on there, but I'm just going to put it on there anyways. Never know. Might need an ammo armor locker for some odd reason. Oh yeah, I need to put my... Uh... Yeah, extender on here. So I'm pretty sure we're over CPU. Oh, no, we're not. Oh, hell. Wait, devices. Uh, idle 750. 500. Okay, I think we're okay. We may not actually need the... Um, 25. You know, I might need it because of the thrusters. Okay, I may actually have to put a bigger generator in here because of the thrusters. Okay, not a problem. Okay. All right, so we'll go ahead and put that in here. Okay, go with, uh, need to build another thruster, or not thruster, but, uh, generator. Okay, good. I know I got. So I have six of those. One, two, three, four, five, six. I just need to get a communication equipment for that. Grab those. 
Who knows? I might need. I might use those two. All right. There we go. Oh, that was why I did that. Did I make the container controller, but I didn't make th make the ore controller, harvest controller. Okay, now for the thrusters. You know, I don't think I need the... Well, the O2 station could come in handy. Yeah, I'll leave it like it is. Okay. down Okay, um... Don't really like him there.
Yeah, that works. Nothing fancy. All right, uh, refurb. Okay. There we go. All right. Bucket Biter. Statistics. Oh, good gosh. Wow. Bucket Biter. <laughs> there we go. All right. And oxygen. Output. There we go. There. All right. I think. All right, well, um, 
Let's go to trade items. Grab that. Grab those. And that. Oh, very responsive, that's for sure. Let's see. Trade stations over that way. This thing is very responsive. Oh shit, I forgot to put uh, left and right. Oops.
Ow, you jerk. Jeez, where'd all these frickin' things come from? Any more? Who are you? You're gonna die too. Stupid Creel. Spiders might have something. Well, apparently, I don't have the item in order to do that. Okay, well, whatever. I don't need now. Antibiotic ejection, antitoxic decox kit. You little asshole. Our detox, so. Oh.
Ooh, treasure. Give me some coins. Ah, excellent. Thank you. They got station services. I don't have much money on me, but I do have some stuff to trade. So. Need my. Just need the ATM. There you go. And there's a dude that you can... Uh... I don't know if I want or not. Uh. All right, where's the medic to do that? There's no medical here. I thought there was a medical guy here. Huh, guess not. Up. Okay, now that all that crap has gone away. Missing cargo. Is gold. And you sell food. Okay. 
All right. Uh, what we're working on. Uh, nothing. Oh yeah, I need a communication equipment. Uh, Ravenger. This is gonna be the next one I'm gonna bring in. It requires three communication equipments. All right, let's go to the portal hub. Oh, excuse me. Okay, communication equipment. Let's buy. Well, let's buy four, and I'll need at least four. Uh, for now, anyways. All right, solar cells. All right, how many does it take? Okay, let's unlock that. Oh, we don't have the platinum and stuff like that. Okay, solar cells takes four. So 24 times four, that's 16, 96. 96 solar cells. Oof, I don't have the money for that. Yeah. Okay. And it may not even be worth it. I don't know. Okay, so how many panels? Okay, so F3. Okay, I know I can't do 24. Four. Maybe I'll do like five solar panels. Let's try five, which would be 20 of these. Damn, 22. Damn, by 20 of them. Give me five panels. Yeah, let's do that. Teleport back to the trade station. Where is it at? Passing all over the place. Oh, good night. This thing's got some crazy lift. Of course, it doesn't have anything in it right now either. Um,
Actually, I want to go west. Do some more exploring. They're gold in them dire hills. Uh, Promethium and gold. All right. Oh, I forgot to get some... Yeah, whoa, hello. God, this thing is squirrely as heck. Well, that'll make you dizzy. There we go. That's not so bad. All right, station of services. I can't buy. Let's go one percent. Oops, I can't buy any more now. Can't buy anything. I think what I might do is performance. Uh,
Maybe this will sh slow this thing down quite a bit. That's not so... Yeah, it's still kind of jumpy. Not as bad, though. So now, I can probably... Weird. Hey, damn spiders. Boy, it pitches down real easy, but it doesn't pitch up for the shit. I don't know, I'm just trying to test out some something. See if there's something like this is even viable. Grief, this thing's too squirrely. Zoom out of the dagum. <laughs> uh. 
Oh, it doesn't even turn over the crap. It's supposed to. We might need to redo the thrusters where all the thrusters are at. I think they're fighting each other. Ah, nice. Yeah, I think that all the thrusters are just in kind of in wanky places. Really? Can't you see I'm mining? are annoying. Yeah, all the thrusters are fighting each other. I don't know, maybe because I got most of them turned off. Oh yeah, it's because I had some of them turned off. Yeah, this goofy little thing just sucks.
What do we got here? Oh. And a drone base. That's a good one. I had to go back and do that one. But I think I'm going to call it a night since we get back here to base. Got to get these uh, solar panels built. Not sure if I want to keep this little stupid thing or just trash it. Need some, definitely need some adjustments. Um, it may have just too much thrusters, so that makes it really squirrely. Let's see raw food. Uh, food meds. All right, trade items. I'll hang on to those for a little bit longer. Or decon. All right, long range antenna. Oh, yes. Give me, please. All right, this one's going on. Oh, hey, lenses. Uh, lenses. Heat exchangers. I keep forgetting to take the damn solar cells out of this stupid thing. Doesn't need it. Oh well. I'll take it in creative and fix that problem. Not right now. But having a long range sensor is a must. Okay.
Okay, so what the heck's going on? Oh, damn. Damn, 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 damn. Uh, let's turn the power off for a moment. Uh, let's pick this back up. And let's repair this. And turn the power back on. Okay, so before we put that in there, we need to add. I don't know if I have enough, or if I have a small. I don't have a. Uh, I need. Small vessel. I don't think I can unlock it. Oh, I can. I need a quantum uh, processor in order to make one. Do I have smalls? Yeah, I got 13 of them, so I'm good there. So... A quantum processor. Okay. Let's go to base. Shit, 15. Let's do this. Prefer fuel. All right, uh, device okay. base. Yeah, whatever we can.
Okay, well... I already will. I think I'm going to call it a night. It's been fun. <laughs> uh, well, they really did some changes on this. So. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I like it. Alrighty, folks. Well, it's been a good night. Uh, tomorrow we'll be picking this up again. Uh, some more Imperial Galactic Survival starting about 7 p.m. Uh, Central Standard. So whatever that time is for you, that's pretty much the time we're going to be here doing. Alrighty, folks. Well, take care of yourselves and each other. Bye-bye for now.